All right, hello everyone, welcome back. This is Scott. Today I wanna to talk about color grading and I wanna talk about color grading with the gradient map and specifically about how you can take the color information from one image and superimpose it onto another. This is one example and we're going to use this image as a second one. And all right, to start off with, I'm going to go into this image and what I want to do is I want to just clear there's several ways to do this. This is uh, kind of the fastest way. I'm just going to take my my marquee selection here and I'm just going to grab this. I'm going to hit V to do the uh, I'm just going to grab this move tool here and I'm just going to grab this and drag it over to this image and scoot that over here. Now, with this layer here, with the subject here, I'm going to go, um, not that one, down here, my gradient map adjustment layer. Now, the first thing you need to do is make sure you don't have the mask selected, but you have the actual gradient map selected. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is click on this one here, and what, what, what's gonna happen here is this color is going to superimpose onto the darks of the image. And this color is going to superimpose onto the lights of the image. So here, I'm gonna click on this, and I'm going to eyedropper the darkest color here. Hit OK. Here, I'm going to click on this, and I'm gonna click on this, and I'm gonna eyedropper uh, what looks like to be the lightest part of this image. Let's say there. Hit OK. And now I'm gonna do I'm gonna grab a few others here. Like say that one here. Maybe go in here. And let's see here. Now I'm gonna drag that out. Bring this here. Let's click another one here. Let's get this dark red here. All right. I think that looks good. Let's just spread this out a bit. All right. Now we've captured uh, the main color information from this image here. I'm gonna go ahead and and hide that. This is what I want. So now the next thing we can do is just go into the uh, to layer blending modes and let's just fool around with them. The best ones are typically, in my opinion, I'm gonna try the color and see what that looks like and it's super strong. And this might be what you want. This might be, uh, you know, you might want something super impactful like this or maybe uh, you want something a little bit soft and these right here I find are also typically good ones to check out. Let's try overlay. And yeah, right away, that's kind of interesting. I'm just gonna hit the uh, up and down arrow keys to move through these, these blending modes here. Soft light, I think that looks nice. Hard light, vivid light. Let's go back to soft light here. And you know what? You, I'm just gonna go down to the opacity. If you just bring it all the way down, you have your regular image, say maybe 50%, maybe bring it up to you know 80%, and just like that, you can just kind of adjust the overall color and the overall uh, sort of vibe and mood of your image. So you're kind of getting, kind of getting the vibe and the uh, and the lighting of this image onto this one here. And see, this right here is an excellent photograph. By the way, everything I took in this video I took off of Unsplash, which is a great stock photo site. Now, again, this is a great image. This is. You know really really well done photographs this is really well photoshopped you know this the reds here are really nice and popping and vibrant and it's just a great image this isn't necessarily better or worse it's just different just keep in mind just learn the tools and then know know how to use them and then you can use them effectively depending on what you have because maybe this is what you want and you want something more local color or maybe you're going to want something a little more moody maybe you uh, maybe you're just working with brand colors and maybe you just want to make sure that you have uh, you have the f the photograph maybe just fit in with the brand colors or a certain color scheme of a design you're working with or whatnot so now let's take this image right here i'm going to double click this open this layer up and let's see here. I'm going to start with this one here. I'm just going to hit M to bring up my rectangular marquee here. I'm just going to grab this here. And I'm just trying to find the lightest and darkest parts. Hit V for the move tool. And I'm just going to move this over here. And with this main layer selected with the subject here, adjustment layer, gradient map. And again, make sure you're not on the mask. Click on the map itself. 
click on this again. This right here is the dark tones in the image. This is the white or the light tones in the image. So if I click on this dark one here, grab the darks, okay. Click on this one here and this one here and grab the lights. And let's find something in the middle, right there. And maybe here in between these two, maybe get this, this yellow here and maybe here. Let's see, I don't know. Maybe get something here like that. I think that looks good. Now let's hide this. And again, let's just go into some of these blending modes like overlay, soft light, that looks good. Hard light, it's kind of interesting. Let's try screen. I think that looks kind of interesting. These are all just different possibilities. Some of these will work better than, than others. This dark is a little bit interesting. This is a little bit surprising. Uh, and then color, this one is, uh, is very intense. This might be what you're going for, it might not be. Again, nothing wrong with this image right here for what it is. It's just specifically, just keep in mind, uh, what are you using this photograph for? Uh, what type of message, what type of mood do you need to get coming across? So just keep in mind, these are just tools. Now I'll just bring this down. I'm gonna adjust the opacity down by halfway. Maybe up a bit, yeah, 60, 65-ish. Yeah, I think that looks cool. But let's uh, let's try this one. This is very different. M key, and let's just grab all this here. V to move, bring this in. And let's just hide our other work here. And let's just bring up another gradient map. And just give yourself another option. Make sure you click on the map itself. Click on this one. Click on this one, and then this one. Let's grab ourselves uh, the darkest image, the darkest color in the image. Let's just grab this here, a nice super dark blue. Click on this white here, and let's get something super light. Go in the middle, and let's just grab something, something like that. Grab here. And let's see what we got. Maybe some of these blues. And then here, let's see if we can grab one of these sort of sandy yellow tones. And all right, once again, let's just hide that. And this is getting super, this is getting super psychedelic looking here. And this is kind of what happens when you look at this and it's like, it's not really necessarily in the right order because this right here actually should probably be over here and then just move this over here just keep in mind if you have to get rid of one of these just left click and drag and just literally just drag it off all right i think that's a lot better hit okay and all right now let's go back into our blending modes let's try screen overlay soft light hard light try color okay that's interesting and again, it's a very different mood. It's a very different vibe. It'll communicate a different message. And I'm going to bring this opacity down. See, that's the way we had it before. And now, I, I kind of, I don't want to lose. There's all these interesting colors in her, her dress here. I don't want to lose all that. Really interesting stuff there. So I kind of like it like that, like before, after, before, after. And I think, I think I can bring up a levels adjustment here because I feel like it. Just brighten that up a little bit. Darken that. And yeah, I think that helps it out a little. So we've got options here, you know, this is this is one way to communicate with this image. This is a different a different way. This is a different vibe. You know, one isn't right, one isn't wrong. It just it depends on what you're going for. What are you trying to communicate here? What are you trying to say? What's the brand? What's the vibe? What's the feel? But just learn these tools. Learn how you can use this gradient map as just a tool. This is a way that you can take a color scheme or, or you know, information from, from one image and you can bring it over onto another one and you can just sort of borrow this vibe and this mood. And or this one right here, you know, this is obviously a lot a lot darker, a lot more overcast, and not nearly as pleasant and positive. This one's super, super hot and warm. 
So depending on what you're going for, you know, this is local color image here. This is a much uh, deeper and, and denser mood here. And this one is a lot more warm. So these are all good options for you. And let me just show you one last thing, kind of an example. I'm just gonna bring up the canvas size here and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna just say width 100 and let's just bring this out here. And like say, what if for example, this was like a design, let me get rid of this. And you had this, this type of a look here, bring up some text and let's just say my text for a lack of a better description and just leave it on brand and grotesque because that's what I was using the last time I was in Photoshop and you see how you know this super vibrant great photograph here it looks great by itself but next to this color and this this typography here it changes it, you know, it, it changes the vibe and the mood. It changes the appropriateness to it. So just keep that in mind. This is just something to put in your bag of tricks in your uh, your toolbox. And I hope that uh, maybe you'll be able to use this someday in the future. All right, that's it. Thanks for everybody for watching and I will uh, see you in the next one.